proxy or waiver wires to do everything you can to improve your club. But right now, I'd say you're in the building block phase. Andy, the man with a plan right now. Now, there's one man to thank for the statues of Hall of Famers Mike Schmidt, Richie Ashburn, Robin Roberts, and Steve Carlton at Citizens Bank Park. And recently, that sculptor returned to the ballpark to check out his handiwork. Jamie Forward has the story. In 2002, work began on the four statues that were to adorn the new Citizens Bank Park. Sculptor Zenos Ferdakis was commissioned to create the artwork that would honor the four Phillies Hall of Famers and serve for years as a gathering place for Phillies fans. This season, Zenos was invited back to the ballpark as part of Greek Heritage Night, which provided him a chance to reflect on his creations and celebrate his own Greek culture as well. Let me ask you uh, about your heritage being a, a Greek. Yes. I'm very proud of it. Does your heritage play a role in what you what you can do? Very much. I'm very conscious of it. I studied the Greek sculptures, and I was reminded that when I looked at this, I was looking at the discus thrower and the kind of movement in that. You know, there's a kind of a piece on the face, a kind of grace, and uh, in, the, in the discus thrower and in Robin Roberts, and um, and there's a kind of a twist that I wanted. I learned from the Greek sculptures. I studied, um, there were so many Greek athletes that were sculpted because when they won um, the Olympics, they would get a statue. And Hall of Famers, they got a statue. There's a kind of connection there. So um, they were also rewarded with free meals for the rest of their lives and they got the pensions. So it's not that different in the sense if you're getting uh, paid well and you're an athlete today. One of the differences is that they were running naked or they were competing naked, which they don't do in the stadium, which would be probably good for ratings. But uh, <laughs> but uh, but um, but, so, but, but I sculpted them that way. I sculpted them nude. When I, I do small models, mm -hmm. you don't sculpt them this large. You develop, you, you work out your problems in a small model so you can move it easily. And then you, you make the larger one, you make a strong armature and, and put clothes on it. So the clothes comes later. What is it about baseball players that it gives you a motivation? I think the excellence, you know, it's something that if, we, if I have anything, I, I mean, I like to think I have something in common with him. I talked with Mike Schmidt about this and he brought it up. This is what the Greeks called erite. He didn't use that word, but he was talking about it's the same, it means basically excellence, where you try to achieve a lot. You know, you have some talent, but then you work hard and you develop it and you learn from others. And that's something that I relate to with, with, uh, with the sculpture. You know, the Greeks had this idea of a sound mind and a sound body. And, and uh, this is, you know, there's a lot of that in, in, in athletes that are achieved a certain level. Well, Babe Ruth may have gotten by on hot dogs and beer, maybe and Ricky Bo did as well, but with a wealth of nutrition information now available, today's players are a bit more conscious of what goes into their bodies. And as Scott Palmer reports, the Phillies hope to help their fans adopt those same healthy eating habits. The Phillies are very excited to announce this new recipe book for charity. It's entitled, From Our Home, as in plate, uh, to your 